glass is an everyday object used in many shapes and categories. It's also an art form dating back 2,000 years ago. Glass making techniques grew to spectacular heights in Europe, with Italy being the capital of big name masters and blown glass. Among them, one name draws the crowd, Lino Taglia Pietra, who recently came to Taiwan along with his works of art. Loretta Young and Zhang Yi, the founders of Taiwanese glass studio Liu Li Gongfang, had a successful career in film, both sought after for their talents. Now working with glass, they have waited for 20 years, seeking to bring the talents of Venetian master Lino Talia Pietra to Taiwan. The work Yang and Zhang do is different from Talia Pietra's glass blowing, but they have been enchanted with the master's work ever since they first saw it many years ago. Both Yang and Zhang are grateful that after 20 years of effort on their part, Talia Pietra has finally come, exhibiting in Taipei and Shanghai on what is his first trip to Asia. The timing is special, coinciding with Liu Li Gongfang Studio's 30th anniversary celebration. Talia Pietra, now 84 years old, began as an apprentice in a Venetian glass studio at the age of 10. Over 70 years, he has devoted himself to the art of glass, watching it change in between liquid and solid states from in front of a hot furnace. He has mastered the art of using heat to control the hardness of his materials, and of using a simple tube to blow and shape unique works of art into existence. Loretta Young, who herself spent a short period learning to blow glass, appreciates how difficult this work is. Boli the delicate and fragile characteristics of glass require glass artists to suffer for their medium. Unlike bronzes, whose casting can be contracted out to experts, every piece of glass art is made by the artist's own hands. Those who don't have the right love of glass and of hot flames will not be able to make eye-catching works that dazzle their viewers. Practicing your way to perfection is an idea that everyone understands. But if you only perfect technique, you are still just a craftsman. If you want to become an artist, you must experience life and build up an understanding of the past through accumulated experience until you have built up a vision for the future. For Talia Pietra, this is the most basic element in human culture. Even after 70 years of working in glass blowing, he is still creating and learning, never letting his work stay in the same place. Un esempio molto per esempio nei miei oggetti ci sono delle forme che ho avuto una grande difficoltà tecnica a farla e a ripeterla e, e, e farla bene. Solo negli ultimi due o tre anni ho, ho risolto un problema tecnico che mi sembrava praticamente irrisolvibile. Voglio dire che dopo 70 anni di lavoro ho, ho imparato a fare certe cose in modo diverso e giusto e anche in corretto, fatte bene, e fatte bene è più svelto, ma fatte bene non è il problema del svelto, è il problema di farle bene e di farle con, con semplicità. 
E questo è molto, ma molto importante, vuol dire che tu non, non si impara mai, cioè giorno dopo giorno tu aggiungi un qualcosina a quello che hai fatto e dipende da te, dalla tua capacità di muoverti, di imparare. Eh, non è vero che non c'è niente di nuovo sotto la luce del cuore, tutto si trasforma. Sì, è vero che è così, però debbi... E non è vero che è stato fatto tutto. È stato fatto tantissimo, ma dipende da te a cambiare. Cioè, una cultura, come tutte le cose, può essere diversa. E nel giorno dopo giorno impari. At the age of 10, Talia Pietra left school and entered a Venetian glass studio, beginning to learn the art of glass blowing. He doesn't deny that his time in the classroom was short, but the principle of learning by doing is one that Talia Pietra has followed his whole life. Perché il vetro come materia è una materia bellissima dove che è fatta dall'uomo, però sembra che sia fatta da, dagli dei, da Dio. Of course, this doesn't mean the master sticks up his nose at knowledge or the type of learning done in schools. On the contrary, he has a reverence for knowledge. He knows that you must have an understanding of chemistry and other fields in order to control proportions and mix colors and create eye-catching works. E poi credo che come tutte le cose importanti, diciamo, ha bisogno del sapere della manualità. Il vetro è una materia nobile, però è anche complicata. C'è bisogno di sapere della chimica, della, della forma, della prospettiva, il colore, le tecniche fatte, non fatte. C'è cioè, molto lavoro dietro, è una cultura molto importante. Having grown up in Venice, the city of water, many of Talia Pietra's works feature the sea, sailboats and wind. For instance, a large piece, entitled Endeavor Installation, seems to show a number of boats sailing forward. Or this piece, full of inspiration, which Talia Pietra takes on traveling exhibitions and lecture tours. Even at the age of 84, the master is still creating every day getting into the studio at 8 in the morning and facing a 1,400 degree Celsius furnace. With different textures, bold colors, and a carefully turning tube for blowing, he continues to make great art. <laughs> 